Good morning everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from uh, Vietnam. This is our morning update guys, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Guys, we have really emergency uh, news to break with you. We're going to talk about that, we're going to talk about Ethereum price, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, we're going to talk about Dogecoin, where I think it's going to go. we got some huge, huge breaking news. You guys need to watch this uh, video to the end guys. Uh, and remember, none of this is financial advice, it's just an OG in the house showing his love and expressing his opinions. Remember, do your own risk management. Remember, Remember, it's your money, it's not my money. Make sure you always do that. Hey, and guys, we're almost, we're, we're getting closer and closer to that $50,000 Ethereum, guys. Woo! Somebody out there in YouTube land is going to win the one, uh, one Ethereum, guys. It's really fantastic. Are you guys psyched? Are you guys pumped? Wow! I think right now, I think I'm in like 34, 35 days of lockdown. Uh, this lockdown seems to be uh, never ending, guys. I'm getting stuck crazy. I've been stuck in, uh, stuck in my... Uh, in my uh, house for 35 days, haven't gone out. So guys, bear with me if I'm losing my, oh, we're just climbing the walls, I'm climbing the walls, guys. So I'm really psyched, I'm really pumped. So let's jump into it, uh, let's jump into the breaking news right now without delay. Watch out for nasty scammers in the contents. They appear to be me, and they will ask you to contact them via WhatsApp. I'm never gonna do that, so please, you know the only way you can the only way you can contact me is to go to the about section here and check out my email guys so let's get into the news right now so this is a huge breaking news right now as you guys all know the uh, the dumpster infrastructure bill that includes all the uh, crypto parts has uh, been approved by the Senate and uh, you know and, and now it's uh, going to the next stage before it goes to the president for uh, signing this is absolutely incredible crazy bill I cannot believe this is happening and you know later we're gonna see uh, we're gonna watch a CNBC clip and it's just it's just incredible this is actually happening uh, so let's jump into it so Senate passes infrastructure bill uh, with uh, workable crypto tax unworkable tax provision so basically the original form of the tax provision has been passed and this is absolutely insane this is actually going to kill innovation this is going to kill crypto this is the biggest crypto fail in the history and it's going to send the u.s into the dark ages guys it's going to send the u.s absolutely into the dark ages it's completely it's a complete disaster it's a complete mind-blowing stupidity uh that we have uh, you know senators in the house like ted cruz says that know absolutely nothing about what's going on and they have passed this bill as you can as, as you can as you can see you know ted cruz is also he cannot believe this has happened the democrats infrastructure bill will devastate the cryptocurrency industry by imposing crushing regulation i'm talking crushing regulations guys this is totally insane and you know ted is our hero he tried many many times to improve this provision and uh you know the and and you know the senate they blocked this they completely blocked it so you can barely and and as i said you can barely five find five senators who understand anything about cryptocurrency but apparently that wasn't enough to stop us from regulating uh, regulating to death and driving a promising industry overseas. It's completely insane, guys, that this is actually happening right now. It's it's just insane. So this this um, infrastructure bill has in its uh, portion that is designated to obliterate crypto, and uh, you know, crypto innovation, blockchain innovation, uh, crypto uh, software development, blockchain development. All of this is going to go. It's going to go overseas, guys. And this is not only about tax. Americans are going to lose jobs. And it's about national security because it's all going to go overseas. It's going to go to China. It's going to go anywhere but the U.S. It's crazy. And uh, the only good thing is that, uh, you know, many people in the cryptocurrency, including, uh, you know, Brian Armstrong, he tweeted up, even, uh, even Elon Musk tweeted that this is a complete dumpster bill. And the major problem in, in, with this bill is the definition of a broker, guys. I talked to you guys about that. The major problem is the definition of a broker. It means who must file reports with the internal revenue service as it stands a broker could include everybody it could include your grandmother you know if, if your grandmother's uh, trading crypto she could get uh, hit with it you know if some uh, some college student has a computer and it's used as a, a validator node because you can become a, a bitcoin validator node by just installing the software guys so it's just it's just cuckoo it's cuckoo so let's jump into the clip right now guys so here's the clip let's jump into it all right. If it's not a big deal, though, 
Why, why has the crypto community been it's so a big vocal? Deal. It's I a mean, big deal. It's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Uh, you know, Mark Andreessen sending letters. Uh, Elon yeah. Musk is tweeting it's about it. It's a huge it. deal, Jack guys. Jack Dorsey is out there. You, you don't typically see these big names all get behind one issue. Exactly. This is not monumental. It's a monumental. It's monumental. I think what we've reached is is sort of a tipping point exactly. when it comes to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. There are over 46 million Americans, yeah. over 15% of our population 15%, in this guys. country, holds a cryptocurrency of some type. And yet still, when it comes to our policy making, there's a very little education or awareness of cryptocurrencies exactly. and the issues surrounding them. I think there's also this continued misperception that crypto is an unregulated shadowy corner of finance, which it's Far not. From the truth. It's been regulated by an alphabet soup of agencies for multiple years now. So I think p part of what this highlights is the fundamental divide between the rest of the country, yep. the tech community investors, and K Street and what's happening in Washington, D.C. Exactly. So you can see that fundamentally she's hit the nail on the, she's hit it on the head. 15% of all Americans, tech savvy people are holding cryptocurrency and the rest are not. But the government for some reason it's just it's just you know old school old thing, you know, and remember a lot of these senators, a lot of these politicians have been paid for and their campaign supported by banks. So you guys have to understand that uh, you know their impartiality is completely completely void completely null so this is a this is a dumpster bill it shouldn't it should not have passed the senate this is complete kibosh and this is really going to set the uh, the whole crypto space back years and years and years and thank god that we got uh, ted cruz the senator from uh from texas He's uh, fighting. He's fighting for us. He's in our corner. So we love you, Ted Cruz. Thank you for all the support out there. And uh, when you see Biden, give him a message. The cryptocurrency space, the crypto maximalists. We don't like this bill. And this this is just going to kill innovation. The whole blockchain innovation is going to go. It's going to die, and it's going to go overseas. So let's uh, jump into uh, some other news, guys. So right now, you guys, uh, you guys heard about this that the DeFi Digest Poly Network was hacked. It got hacked. And uh, the total amount of um, the, it was the largest hack in crypto crypto history, guys. And this was a uh, 611 million got hacked. And uh, this is but this whole hack is not really hit uh, mainstream. It's been overshadowed by this whole tax bill, guys. Remember the CPI data is coming out uh, in a, I guess in about six or seven hours U.S. time. So we'll see how that's going to affect the markets. But yeah, we had the biggest biggest hack, and it, and it happened again on the Poly Network. I don't know what's going on with the with the Poly Network, the Polymatic Network. It's just really really weird. So overshadowing uh, developments in the U.S. Senate. However, the Poly Network was hacked for roughly six hundred eleven million dollars, guys. Can you believe that? Six hundred eleven million. So let's see let's see let's see exactly how that uh, pans out. And right now we can see that the top old, old, old coin gainers and losers right now. We got Yo Yo. We got Access. We got Baby. I'm not even gonna say it. XR, X, XSR, XBT. So guys, you know right now, uh, you know if we look at the BTC technical analysis, finding resistance. Where do we expect resistance? Well, it seems that uh, you know there's potential resistance above 47,000. And you know, like I said in the charts, if we go to the Bitcoin chart right now, we can see that there is a huge resistance at uh, 50,000 so we really need to break uh, 50,000 but we're not going to we're really not going to see much happening uh, because we're going to see stuff going to be really range bound right now uh, and it's going to be range bound for a couple of days until the CPI uh, data comes out and this whole tax thing dies out. But on a on a positive note, you can see even though we've had this tax bill that passed the Senate, we uh, you would have expected a huge huge crash, uh, at least a, you know four to five percent uh, uh, correction. But in fact, we're not seeing any kind of corrections happening right now. So this is really bullish news. This is really this is really positive news right now. So I I'm I'm so surprised that this uh, bull run is really it's really entrenched. It's like an Alabama tick. You just can't get rid of it, so I'm really excited. I'm I'm so pumped. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at Ethereum right now. As you guys can see, that if we look at the Wyckoff pattern, we're still in line for Wyckoff pattern. We're still going up, guys. So that's really good. Uh, if we look at Ethereum, it's doing exactly the same thing. It's almost a carbon copy of uh, of uh, of Bitcoin. And also, one thing to note on the Bitcoin chart, you can see here we have the. Uh, 50 day and we have the 200 day so these are about to cross it's called a golden cross 
I think some other YouTubers had covered it uh, early this morning. I had talked about it yesterday, so they're a little bit late to the boat. Uh, so just to recap, that this Golden Cross, it's, it's probably going to happen tomorrow. And, and this is typically a bullish signal. And, uh, you know, it's even momentous. This is still happening with this, uh, you know, tax regulation and fraud. So I, I'm still pumped, guys. You guys should be really pumped in a sec. Let's take a look at our Doji Doge right now. So the Doge in the house, where's my Doji Doge? Doge is, is, Doge is actually, it's, it's just going crazy, guys. We are at 26 cents. We are still up. We are following Bitcoin to the T, and you guys can you guys should be excited. You know, Dogecoin is not pulling back. We'd expect it to be pulling back. It's still going up, guys. Like I said, we're going to be range bound for a couple of uh, days. We've got a huge resistance level at 28 cents. We need to blow past that. Will we blow past that? Absolutely, 30 cents coming in, guys. I'm so pumped. I'm so psyched. You guys should be solely pumped and psyched. Dogecoin is going to the moon. We're going to get there. You're going to get there. I feel it. You feel it. So some other big news that's happening right now is, you know, I really believe that we're getting ready for, you know, one of the shocking, shocking, one of the biggest altcoin seasons that could be happening on the horizon. We could see a huge bull coming in for altcoins. We could see all of the altcoins absolutely, absolutely, uh, you know, rocketing, rocketing to the moon, guys. So, guys, just buckle up because $100,000 Bitcoin coming, $10,000 Ethereum, and that even may be conservative. Let's take a look at the Ethereum burn right now. Ethereum is still burning away. We got $25,449 uh, dollars, uh, for 25,449 Ethereum burn. That's millions and millions of dollars that have been burned in a very short period of time. You gotta love it. I love it, guys. And uh, just an update. Uh, Celsius, if you guys are Celsius wallet holders, just just uh, be, be, be cautious, be warned that they've just released a new policy and that new policy states that if you have more than $10,000 in your account, the automated withdrawals are still okay. But if you have under $10,000, the automated withdrawals are not okay. You've got to send an email to their support and they will do it manually. I mean, I, I sent an email to them. It's the dumbest thing on the planet because the whole thing about uh, crypto is that you want to have full control and you want to be fast. So if you have to send an email to Celsius Wallet support and ask them to do it for you and it's going to take you know, at least 24 hours, it's just dumb. So, I, I you know, if uh, if you guys are Celsius Wallet holders, uh, send an email to complain about this new policy. It's really, it's really stupid, guys. So, yeah, it's just dumb. Let's look at some of the tokenomics of uh, Bitcoin. Let me give you a refresh. Refresh. So right now, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, internet, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so right now, 71% of uh, Dogecoin holders are in the money, 4% are uh, breaking even, 25% out. So it's not too shabby, guys, so it's looking pretty good. Let's take a look at the uh, fear and greed index. Fear and greed index has come down a little bit. It's still at 71, still in greed, guys. So it's still a good time to buy, still a good opportunity to buy. Yesterday, I, I bought uh, I bought $5,000 worth of Doge yesterday. I was feeling sorry for myself. I wanted to, wanted to pamper myself. So, you know, uh, wives shop online and buy bags and shoes and perfume. Uh, when I want to pamper myself, the OG in the house, I buy crypto, so I bought some Doge, so I'm happy, happy. Let's jump into the market marks. Uh, right now, the market marks, let me give this a quick refresh, guys. So as you guys know that uh, yesterday, uh, you know, we came pretty close to uh, hitting, we came, we went over 1.9 billion. And right now we're at one point, hey, we just hit 1.9 million. See how lucky the OG is? So we just hit uh, 1.9 million. We haven't seen this in for two months. So I think that definitely by the weekend, I'm so psyched, I'm so pumped. We could definitely be seeing uh, uh, 2 billion coming in. And we haven't seen 2 billion for a very long time. Another thing to take note, the Bitcoin dominance has just come down. So that's really good. It means that more money is going to flow from, out of Bitcoin into the alts. So that's really positive. So right now we're seeing uh, Bitcoin is trading at 45,858. So that's really good news right now. And that's uh, that's uh, basically neutral, 0.38%. Ethereum is at $3,174. Woo! And we're still at 1.30. So if you're holding Ethereum, congratulations, guys. BNB is on a terror right now. It's at three, $379 and it's up almost 8%. So that's fantastic, guys. ADA is just going going to town, up almost 17%. And that's because he's got smart contracts in, uh, coming soon. It's going to be enabled soon. So that's huge, huge news. And my Doge in the house, guys. Look at Doge. Doge is at 259, 0.259. Let's call it, call it 26. And uh, that's up almost 2%. So right now you can see the Doge actually outperforming uh, uh, Bitcoin in terms of uh, its market gains. So that's really good. If we look at the rest of the, the uh, old coins, uh, DOT is up. 
uh, Uni's up, LTC, uh, Bitcoin Cash, Solana's up, we hold that in our portfolio, guys, so that's really bullish news. So everything's looking good. Let's take a look at the OG portfolio in-house. Let me give this a quick minty refresh. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day out there. Hopefully, my brothers and sisters in Asia, you guys are having a great time. Wow, can you believe it? We are now at uh, 33%. 33% guys, we're up 33%. Remember, none of this is financial advice. This is only for educational purposes. Woo! And we are just uh, here to educate. If you decide to copy this uh, portfolio, you do it at your own risk. That you have been disclaimed. All right, guys. So we are now a total profit of $1,668. And that gives us a grand total of $6,667. Remember, we invested $5,000 July 2nd. So this is really great, great news, guys. Woo! All right, guys. With that being said, don't forget to smash the likes. Subscribe right now. Do it now. Do it, do it now. Remember, support the channel with super chats and the streams. I appreciate it. And guys, don't forget to go back, check out my linky links. Go to Zen Music Attic. You know you want it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now. Go there, get some relaxing music, uh, chill out. Uh, David Ricine's using it. And also, if you've got pets and you want your pets to relax, put the music on. Uh, pets uh, relax. I, I think Ambassador, one of my uh, super chat members, super members, had said that she plays it for her dogs and the dogs you know, a calm and sleepy. So it's also good uh, pet uh, relaxing therapy too. So support the channel with Patreon guys. Woo, buy the channel and coffee. Do it now, do it now. Super chats are always welcome. And remember, guys, go to my shop. What are you waiting for? Go to the shop right now. Check out my merch and merch. You're gonna love the merch. We got lots of merch, guys. The merch is right here. We got wet Nancy, uh, no weak Nancy's. We got no weak Nancy's. What, Doja Army t-shirts. We got tons of stuff, guys. And uh, hoodies, bags, aprons. I love the apron. You can barbecue with the OG's channel logo and my mug to mug, get the mug to mug. So guys, just wanna say, I'm working for you. I'm always working for you. Tell me what you think about the channel. Tell me how I can prove. If you've been watching for a long time, take the time to subscribe. Take the time to spread a little love. Good vibe coming to you here from Vietnam. The OG on the lockdown, OG climbing the walls. I love you guys to death. Let's get it.